agents. This will be a longer one than you're used to from me, but I'd like to quickly address something before we move forward to the division part of this video. Now, some of you may have noticed that the volume of content I've been producing has dropped off significantly in the last few weeks, and I wanted to offer an explanation as to why, as well as an update on a few projects I'm currently lady balls deep in. First, there's Fog of War. I was finally able to get all my modded assets to play nice with DCS's most recent update, meaning I've already begun production on Webisode 2. However, as I've mentioned in the past, I'm a one-woman show here, only pulling resources from my hell spawns for voiceovers. I will no longer post release dates, only release windows as I've learned the hard way that life likes to fuck your plans right in the ass. But I am shooting for a June release, so fingers crossed. Second, my bunker, or should I say, swimming pool. Yeah, I had one of those sucks to be a homeowner scenarios that luckily only set me back time and money as 99% of my actual space was spared. So, after a lot of cleanup and rearranging shit, I managed to get things squared away for now and over the summer, I can start producing more content. Third, I needed the break. Between the burnout and just how foobar both my wrists are, I found myself seeking out more chill, laid-back activities, i.e. Star Citizen, Flight Sim, and shit like that. When it comes to the Division, that's actually where most of said burnout derives. Now don't get me wrong, I still love it to death and always will. But right now, there just isn't that carrot to chase anymore. At least, not for me. As an example, I used to log in daily and grind 20 to 50 shade levels minimum as that was the tangible reason for me to do so. I wanted to keep going until I at least hit 50k. But let's be real here, Ubisoft fucked that by allowing cheaters to run rampant. Suddenly, having 30k plus SHD was meaningless and in some cases a detriment as I've been kicked out of raids because my shade level was too high to be legit. Go f yourself. Meanwhile, I see peeps running around the base of operations with 100k plus. Go f yourself. Last, there's the internet itself. I've been on this planet for eh, 47 years now, and in that time, I've seen the best and worst humanity has to offer. And as such, I simply wanted to accept my forced retirement and do my thing. However, through virtual osmosis, this channel grew to something I didn't understand. Hell, I still don't understand it. Because if I'm to be honest with myself, this is more a me problem. Anyway, not an issue now, so moving on. So if one was to search on YouTube right now for Division 2 build videos, you want to guess what you'll find? So needless to say, I don't want to simply add to the endless copy pastas out there. Add to this the fact that I'm constantly asked how to get proficient at aiming and shit like that, I figured, you know what? Fuck it. How about we walk before we run, yeah? So before we even step foot onto a range or the battlefield, we need to first take a look at our primary tool. No, not that one. Not that one either. <sighs> what are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. That's the one. My primary is the Logitech G502 Wireless. Not much to say, really. It's a gaming mouse, but she has a lot of buttons, decent ergo, and most importantly, dynamic DPI control. This has become a prerequisite of mine as I utilize different DPI values depending on the content. For example, if I'm just chilling like a villain, surfing the web, watching YouTube videos and shit, I keep it around 3,000-ish. However, for gaming, I set this much higher, especially for Division. Oh, and before I forget, here are my Windows mouse settings for your reference. All right, so let's boot her up so I can show you how I set shit up in the game. Okay, so starting with control basics. Now this will also vary depending on my mood, quite frankly. Some days I feel like Jade Wick, and other days I can't hit the broadside of a barn. 
but on average, I'll end up dialing this in between 10 to 15-ish. As for mouse acceleration, I've always kept this turned on. Because I've tried turning that shit off and my controls just don't feel right, I've always just left them on. Gamepad settings I don't touch as I'm a proud member of the PC master race. My overclocked i7, my 64 gigs of RAM, destroying 8K resolution at 240 frames per second, Steam sales, and a dick so big, I can't even find a female willing to take it. Not to mention the idea of using a controller for shooters is a big fuck that. Fuck that. Shit! 180 sprint I turn off because, quite frankly, I can turn faster with a flick of the wrist. I'll keep scrolling down to the bottom so you can get a look at all my settings. Now, if I were a betting woman, I'd wager to guess that 99% of you watching this right now utilize a Whiskey Sierra Alpha Delta control scheme. Am I right? <laughs> I don't. No, no, no. I rock a Quebec Whiskey Echo Sierra style. Why? You can blame the husband for this one, agents, as it was the way he was taught, so naturally he passed it on to me. Now, something else you'll notice, which actually coincides with my unorthodox controls, is how I have my weapon swap button set up on my mouse. When I'm playing, I like to limit the responsibilities of my left hand as much as possible as I'm right hand dominant. So, by keeping most weapon related keybinds to the right, I free up memory allocation on my left. It's just how my brain works. For example, if I'm firing for effect and I want to quickly swap to my sidearm, I can simply scroll down. However, if for any reason I decided I need to cancel said action and swap to secondary instead, a quick scroll up and I'm copacetic. Again, it sounds convoluted, but I assure you, in action, this setup flows so much better than default. Trust me. At least for me. Okay, I believe for the most part, the rest of my keybinds are default or close to default which means we can head over to the firing range where we can quickly discuss builds. <laughs> so, builds. The bad news is I live and die by five. Good news is that this will be quick. All red strikers pretty much shreds any and all content. Enough said. Hunters for when I want to put the stagger in their swagger. Runs great with Lady Death. My Jane Wick build. Sure, this takes advantage of a yet to be fixed bug, but come on, is there anything more fun than going full on John Woo? Papa Foxtrot Echo build, AKA protection from elites. Wanna face tank yellows like a boss while at the same time running and hiding like a little bitch from veterans and even normie NPCs? Maybe. I don't know. Not really. And last, what every agent should have in their arsenal. A sniper build. With this bad boy, I just dumped everything into headshot damage and called it a day. And that's it. When it comes to actual builds, this is literally all I run. If you have any questions regarding my setup or builds, etc., don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. I do plan on a live stream in the near future where y'all can ask me whatever. But until then, agents, I'm going to warm up real quick and leave you with one of my assholes. Senior Chang, can you do something about this? I'll allow it. Stay frosty, everyone. Drummer out.